So my last video, I was just leaving Seattle and I think I probably made it, I don't know, somewhere to Spokane or something. That sounds familiar. And uh, in the next video, I pick up somewhere, you know, right at the beginning of Idaho. I don't know how many miles this is. I don't know if it's actually 27 miles, but it's not a very far distance. Let me put it that way. So if you were driving this at any type of uh, reasonable pace, it would not take you three months. So as we've pointed out, it's taken me about three months to uh, get the next videos out. I've been really busy. That's not an excuse because I have had free time. I just, I just don't really have any good excuses. <laughs> We've been hard at work doing all sorts of stuff behind the scenes. Lots of cool stuff and then lots of stuff that won't really be interesting, doesn't make a very good video. As you can see, I got a new t-shirt. I'm selling some t-shirts on the side. And that's pretty cool. You could find that at the link above or the link below, wherever it is. I don't know if I want to put any annotations or anything on it, so you can give that a look if you'd like to see what kind of wares I'm peddling. The vlog videos are taking place several months ago, back when I was traveling from Washington to Montana. Right now, in the present time, I'm in Florida and I've been here for actually a couple months now. I'm helping out some family uh, while they're trying to sell a house and things like that. All, all sorts of not really interesting things, but just things that keep me pretty busy. I'm also working with a bunch of different clients uh, with social media advertising, uh, media production, and all sorts of cool things. And a lot of things have half of my attention and just a little bit. Like, I made this... Uh, this t-shirt company and uh, camping store stuff months ago, but I haven't even been able to put out advertising for it or anything like that, which is what I'm supposed to be good at. So it's just been sitting there. It's only a couple sales. Got a couple comments asking where I am and hopefully that I'm okay and everything like that. And I, I actually really appreciate that. That's uh, it's always great to see. And uh, I'm happy that people enjoy the videos that I put out uh, when I've been putting them out. I haven't put any recently. Uh, hopefully that's gonna come back I know I've said this for a couple weeks in, in comments and things like that and replies. Hopefully soon. What I really want to do, I want to be able to dedicate more time to the YouTube. And so I kind of want to take it with a more professional mindset. Now, I'm not going to run ads or anything like that. But I might put the link to my uh, t-shirts and things in the bottom and maybe mention it a couple times. And then I'd really like to come up with something that takes less editing. So as a little behind the scenes, each one of those like eight minute vlog travel videos takes like six hours to edit because I like to do all the little artsy things and do transitions and things like that really good J cuts and you know if you don't know video editing stuff that won't mean a lot to you but I, I think it really makes it like more of a little bit of a movie and a little bit of a story rather than just anything and the hardest part is I have all this footage that I want to show of driving and just beautiful scenery but I don't want to just put music over it or anything like that I want to be able to entertain and keep you engaged with the video so sometimes I'll go in and uh, redub my voiceover on things like what I'll be thinking at the time or in real time what I've recently read and things like that that is actually the hardest part of making the vlog videos is coming up with enough speaking content to come to come through I don't I mean maybe somebody would watch just a bunch of uh, highway and campsite footage but not a lot of people and I don't think that's entertaining for me at least so I don't think it'll be entertaining for you guys. I'd love to do some type of like weekly news article or read people's blogs out loud or something like that. Something that I could also turn into a podcast. I'm the producer for a couple other independent podcasts and things like that. So I have some experience with that. I'd love to do something similar for uh, the Nomadic Life brand or my own travel type of style. I'll maybe do a full video that I'll introduce what I'm doing with the store here and things like that and how I make money online so that I can support traveling all around the country. As you can see, I'm starting to sweat because I uh, turned the AC off so you could hear me better and that's, that's not a fun thing to do. Let's see if we can change venues. Let's go for a little walk. Let's, let's make it so my body obscures the license plate so nobody can dox me like that. So we're going to head back inside maybe and uh, We'll come back outside for the ending of this video. We got a little surprise. This has basically been my setup for the uh, two, three months that I've been here. I've got my microphone all set up. I've got my laptop on top of a ramen noodles box to give it that, you know, lift so I can actually look and see through things. Headsets here, everything like that in front of the fine china has a great background to film videos. 
So like maybe I've talked about before, I do social media marketing, I do some media things like taking, uh, producing audio podcasts and all of sorts of things really like for work. I like to dabble because I don't know, I guess I have ADHD and I like to try a whole bunch of different things. I, if I start working on too many things for too long, like I did one thing for two and a half years and I'm like, okay, I think I'm done with this. I think I need to move on to something more interesting. So I like to keep moving on and trying different things all the time. Probably the marketing is the longest thing I've stuck with. Uh, I think my first job was making websites for people, which seems like pretty common for a lot of people my age. But I'm not just sitting at this desk all the time. Well, we've had a busy day today with all full of excitement. There's a frog in the ceiling. Creepy. And we got him. He's free. Go, go little buddy, go, go. And then even after that, and then I noticed my phone has a huge problem with the lens for some reason. It's a brand new phone too. I don't know what's uh, I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna see if I can return it. I think I'm still under the 30 days. This is the like fourth phone that I've had to return because they keep sending me the wrong one online. Never buy a phone off Amazon. It's a complete scam. But it all comes together. We've had an excellent, very productive uh, lunch meeting with a client today, doing very important work. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be a ton of long hours though. So. Hopefully, I get to share some of that with you sometime. I thought this was a vanity plate, but I guess not. That's like, uh, that's his real plate. How cool is that? That's the one dude in America that got that. Well, I'm out here dressed all nice and fancy because we're out here working today. We're gonna do some client work and do some meetings. It's part of the thing that's kept me so busy for so long. It's not all work though, as I said, I get some time to practice guitar. Someday I'll make it big, I just know it. And I get to pet a cat when I encounter one. Staying with family also has its benefits like this. Although she always wants to sit on my computer while I'm trying to work. So as we're working on all of the stuff that we're doing now behind the scenes, I'd love to get some type of idea of some type of new content I can bring and deliver that takes less editing time, really, uh, and less prep time. Like something like a react, like react videos are really great because all you do is sit there and give your honest opinion about what you're listening to or something like that. I'd love to find something where uh, maybe like it's like a live show or something. I think that'd be really cool. But then again, I'm just out of content. I don't think I'm actually that smart, which is which is the problem. I, I know that I know nothing. How's that? Anyway, I'm gonna keep thinking about all the different things that I can do on YouTube and, and really make that more of a more professional, I guess, in that sense. Still gonna do all the vlogs and all the normal stuff that I do. And then the one-off videos where it's like, this is how to wire flexible solar panels, things like that. Those are always really popular and bring a lot of value to people. Uh, I don't think the vlogs bring a lot of value to people unless you're already bought on to the whole story and you want to drive around with me, basically, is, is what the vlogs are. And then, like I've talked about this before, it's also to show my great-grandkids when they have, they'll, they'll have the whole story of what it was like to grow up and uh, drive around in, in the 2000s. I don't know, that'll probably be interesting, at least to show my kids. I'm already mostly done with the next video, so it definitely won't be three months until the next one, but... Uh, let me know if you have any ideas or new content that you want to see, something that you'll want that you want to see. I mean, obviously the most popular videos have been the IKEA videos, but I don't know what else to do with IKEA. <laughs> IKEA in a van life. Maybe IKEA for tiny house, which uh, might give you a hint on what we're doing next. Like I said, we got brand new type of thematic content. Did uh could you guess what it is? If you follow me on Instagram, you might guess what it is. Did you guess right? That's right, we're going tiny. Brand new content, all exciting stuff. But today, I'm gonna leave you with a song about petting a cat. You have to be alert to the beauty in life, the unexpected beauty in life. There's this cat that lives across the street from us called Ginger. Cat 
Cats really aren't domesticated. They, technically speaking, they're still wild animals, but they kind of like people. God only knows why, but they do, you know? And so Ginger will come wandering over and let you pet her. Let you pet her. Let you pet her. You know, you have to look for those, that little bit of sparkling crystal in the darkness when things are bad. You have to look and see where things are still beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful.